Okay, what is up? I think you guys should be able to hear me. I hope so, at least. I hope that this goes good, but I'll see. Welcome. Good to see you here. Hope you're doing fine today. Zero gravity. Nice to have you in here. I am doing pretty good. Uh, I'm excited to go hunt some lions today, but before we do that, why don't I actually reset time? Because... Actually, we could technically keep it at this time, but I'd rather make it 1230 so that we are at the exact exact time that we want to start off. So let's do 1231 right there. And then I'm going to have to check my inventory as well to make sure that that is all good. Um, Lisa Quinn, welcome to the stream. What rifle am I using? I'm currently not using anything, but what we're going to be using for the actual hunt today uh, I'm going to take the bow out because I'm only going to take that once we need it. We're going to switch this out and then we're going to be using the three. Actually, you know what? No, no, no. I'm gonna, we're going to do something a little bit different today. I think for purposes of just having a little bit of fun, uh, I think I'm going to purchase myself the 338 and then just have some fun with that because we haven't used that thing in like forever. And then let's take out the M1 as well. But I think this is going to be a, a good idea. Because I don't know if I have the 338. I don't think I do. But I don't. So why don't we get it and just have some fun with that today. And see how good that works. And just just hope for the best. Let's put it that way. But where is the ammunition for that? Now. Oh yeah. We are definitely going with the polymer tip bullets. For sure. So let's just get a good amount of this. Now, I haven't used a single shot rifle in like uh, forever. So if we miss some shots today, uh, I'll, I'll blame it on that. I'll be very honest. Then let's make sure we use the 30 out 6 on here. The th oh, I still have to put the 30, 38 ammo in my inventory, don't I? Oops. Nina, welcome. Hunter Elliot, welcome to you too. I hope you guys are both doing well today. And like I said, I'm going to be using the 338 today, which we haven't ever used on the channel. And I've actually never used it on PC. I used to use that thing a lot on console, but not on PC. So I really want to see how this gun actually is going to sound. And I kind of want to see what the actual scope looks like. Well, that's, that's pretty nice, actually. And let's look how long does this need to reload. Okay, so it's basically like the 7mm. Good to know. Now, what else would I be needing with me? Uh, I probably want to take the right collar with me for the purposes of this. Now, since we have a little bit of space, I feel like we can go with more collars than we might want, but I think this could help us out. So I have them with me just in case I would need them later on. I already have got a lion, which was almost max weight and the score was huge. Very nice. I've got a couple of lions as well. It's just we need a diamond lion for our bow series. And we don't have one yet. And I thought, why don't we try doing it live again? Because I think it's always fun for those of you guys who are live here to be able to see that, um, how I get the bow kills and what the process is. Because obviously in the videos and that come out in the end, it's always a very like cut up version. And you guys only see a very small amount of the work that actually ends up going into the the process of getting that animals, the only ones that were an exception were the moose and the springbuck because that worked out pretty much perfectly for me and they came in straight away or we could just walk up straight towards them without them running away or the wind being a pain. Ooh, nice. A plains bison or a hero bison, Nina? Which one of the two? Jenna, welcome to you as well. Third time, say it, I got finally... True diamond springbrook after two troll level fives. <laughs> My diamond springbrook score was, ooh, nice, very nice. I actually forgot what lines need. Did they need 49.5 or was it 48.5? Uh, I know they need something with 0.5 at the end, but I forgot if it's a 48 or a 49. Uh, but I know it's something like that. Now, let's look. I know this lake can sometimes be a little bit difficult in terms of finding the actual lions because they like hiding in places, but I'm sure if we wait a little bit longer for them to come in, this should not be too, too hard. 
but I know oh, what's that. There's already our first lioness coming in. Uh, might be a good way to start practicing using our nice 338 here. So let's look how good of a shot this thing has. And apparently it's not very accurate. But if the lions are lions, then she should not be running very far. And that's a good hit. So this is going to be a very good way of testing how good the actual penetration accuracy of this gun is. Because based on that first shot, we might want to be right on the zeroing distance and take our time with the shot and not be in such a hurry like we just were. Diamond line score is 48.5. Okay. Thank you for letting me know, Jenna. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, I think 50 is max score for Lions, so 49.8 is huge. Um, it's either 50 or 51, it's one of the two. Um, but I am not 100% certain on that. That's the area you got the line. Very nice. This is where I got my albino, actually. Uh, I got my albino, he was right in between those bushes. And I was standing right over there, kind of between those two trees when I spotted him, which was really, really cool. Now, I know that they sometimes are also there. This lake seems to not have any hard zones. There's like two places where you can have like straight on zones. And then the rest of the zones are kind of just anywhere around this lake. Now, one of them is the one where we just shot that female from. And the other one is tucked away over there. So we're going to go there in just a second. But I want to see if we can maybe see something off here in the distance before we go to an angle where most of this is going to be covered up by the short shrubs that are around here. Um, 50 is max lions. Ooh, nice. You've got a max lion as well. That's very, very impressive. But penetration is actually pretty good on this as far as I can see. But just a common female and nothing really too, too crazy in that. Um, now let's actually go a little bit more in this direction so we don't have all these trees in our way. But I don't know how good that's going to work, very honestly. You want albino lion? Yeah, I've, uh, I couldn't. After I got that albino lion, I couldn't see lions for like a month or two. Because I was absolutely sick of them. Like, I just hunted them too much. But at the same time, it's it's one of my favorite trophies that I have. Um, like, for sure, it is, is one of my favorite trophies I have. Uh, especially also because I think I ended up getting a gold on it. Uh, I know it was a 7, but I don't remember if it actually got gold or not. But definitely, it's... It's an amazing trophy to have in the trophy lodge. And since I also have albino females, it's just insane. Like, the multi-mount just looks crazy. Um, Nina, do you have two, do you have one albino male and an albino female? Or how are your albino lions uh, separated in terms of uh, gender? Dark brown lion and I haven't got, I've got a dark brown male and I think I have one female if I'm not mistaken. Uh, but blonde is definitely the one that comes like more commonly than dark brown because actually no I, I have a yeah, yeah I do I have a light brown male as well. So I have a male of each and a female of each as well. Um, which is also why I kind of stopped grinding them at some point, but I, I need a diamond for the bow series, so that is why we're back out here trying to get one of them. Um, ooh. I, I, see, that, for me, the opposite. Blonde was the easiest one to get. Like, and they also don't seem to be the hardest, in my experience, at least with the people that I've like seen getting them. Dark brown is like the medium one, and then albino is the one that's like super, super rare to get for them. Um, from my experience and what I've seen from other people and from friends. <laughs> ILC, you should probably go back out there and just check it out and see what you can actually get for them. Because, well, who knows? You might have a level 9 just standing around 
without you even knowing it. And there's a six there, a three there, and a just attentive kudu over there. Surprised that hasn't run off it, considering it's like 50 meters away from a female lion. But let's get that male first. I'm a little bit nervous about the 200 meters. With the 300, I wouldn't be, but since we're using the 338, this is going to be just a little bit different. And I fear we're going to have to do it like this. Now, that is going to be a good hit. And that female didn't see or hear us. And he is down, so why don't we shoot the female as well. Uh, and she's going to go down. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Oh, wow, you have two male all by... That is crazy. That is crazy, Nina. Congratulations on that. Chunky, welcome, welcome. Good to see you here. Hope you're doing good today. Now, did that kudu hear us? Because I might as well get that one kudu kill. But I'm pretty sure that it heard us. But why? Welcome, welcome. <laughs> what a name. What a name. I think I'm just going to shorten that for BT. Otherwise, trying to pronounce sense is going to be interesting. Crazy brothers. Welcome, welcome. Good to see you here. You could try and get three rare female lines. You know, two for the breadwinner multi-mount and one for a male and a female multi-mount. Uh, that's the... Ooh, what's that called? Uh, royalty multi-mount. That's the royalty multi-mount with the f male and female uh, multi-mount. And here's the other female, just another common. I feel like for females trying to figure out what their rare fur variation is, like when you see it, except for the albinos, is so, so hard. I feel like every second common female lion looks blonde to me because of like the lighting and because there's not a big difference in terms of the females uh, with their, because they don't have the big mane on their head. So the main body color is not too much different unless you put them like side by side. Uh, then you can see difference. But other than that, just seeing a lonely female, it is extremely hard to forget that. I didn't hunt wildebeest for months and had albino female at the first spot I went to, so hopefully. I mean, who knows? You, you're never going to know unless you go on there and just check it out and see what you can get. Because, oh, there's a lion somewhere here. Um, it's a female, another female. Any males with them? It doesn't look like it, but since they're kind of frozen, why don't we give her a hard shot or not? And uh, let's reload. Come on. Can this reload? I still want to get that other female. I'll take the free cash, and I know that that was way too far up and to the left. But she is going down. Now this is the one thing I like about lions. They kind of get stuck, at least if you're trying to grind them. Um, What do you mean, how do albino lions even exist? Do you mean in IRL? Because for IRL, the reason is because of a, well, if you're going to call it a genetic disorder called albinism, which means that uh, the animal or the species cannot produce any um, any actual uh, skin pigmentation or fur pigmentation, which is why it's all um, white, which is then going to be called uh, albino, which comes from the albinism term. And that was just way too low. But we apparently hit something. And we made something else mad back here like to know what it is if it's a male but I'm not gonna sh figure that out because it doesn't seem to be outside and I don't know exactly where it came from and I just thought there was a lion but it's not um they are uh yes there were um albino lions in the world otherwise uh they would not be in the game that's the reason why there's no melanistic lions out there uh, in the game because they don't exist in real life or there never has been a melanistic lion spotted. Now technically there could be melanistic lions out there and we've just never seen them but there is currently no record of a melanistic lion existing which is why uh, they don't exist in game. Jeep family welcome welcome um 
you can get white lions that are extremely hard to find in the wild so they added them and they call them albino i think thumbnail looks really good thank you very much i was playing around with some of the um just photo settings on my photo editor and i thought that that looked kind of like a dramatic thumbnail so i kept it like that but it's but thank you for noticing. I mean, I wasn't sure if it was actually going to work because YouTube is sometimes a little bit weird with thumbnails. And for me, it was showing up as a, like my channel banner as my thumbnail, but I'm happy that that ended up working out. Jello, welcome, welcome. Um, Then why? Uh, I'm not sure. I actually didn't really research into it. I just had somebody tell me, or I saw like a picture of albino lions and they mentioned it in their stream somewhere that like they exist so that's kind of what i was or heard about and that's how i had the information about the albinism because i actually researched it once um how albino animals are into existence in the real world and i mean there's technically something as albino or albinism for humans but um they just have like really kind of like bright blonde hair and like very, very white skin and can't actually get like a proper tan just because they don't have the melon in their skin. So they can't get any pigmentation. Borsita, welcome, welcome. Good to see you here. Um, Just nothing crazy for this one. Let's look what we have over here. Uh, what else did I miss? I think they do. I saw on Nat Geo or Discovery Channel. Maybe there. I don't know. Then they'd probably have a post on their website about this. I'm, I would imagine. Um, otherwise, I'd go look at like, oh, what's the page called? Um, Britannica. I'm, I'm sure that they have something written about it there somewhere as well. So that'd be a good place to look. Um... In a Chinese lab, a genetic alteration could be, I don't know. Uh, I'm no expert on albino or rare lions, so I'm probably not the right person to ask, but um, yeah. I'd assume what ILC said then could maybe be true, that there is something as white lions in the world, um, and then they just decided to call it albino for the game's sake. That could very well be, but like I said, I'm not an expert, so I'm not too sure, but... That's just kind of what I would assume or what I would guess it would be. Oh, look, there's another female. Hello. How can I not hit them? Are you kidding me? There's something in the way. Oh, there we go. Got that one. Now, can I hit the other one as well? Kind of going to have to go blind shot here. And yeah, we're not going to get that one. That's stuck behind the tree. Uh, I'm grinding for a rare female lion. Hope we'll find a blonde or dark brown for a breadwinner with big horn cape and a diamond lion. Ooh, that sounds very, very good. That sounds like a nice multi-mount to have. So good luck with that. Um, yeah, Jello, we already talked about that. Um, but it's actually not lighter. Albinism is when there's no pigmentation. Lucism is when it's um, lighter than normal, uh, which is basically the difference between they still can have certain pigmentation, but uh, not the full or normal pigmentation. Albinism is when they can actually physically have zero pigmentation in their skin, so nothing at all. Um, there's white line in the middle. What? I kind of was caught watching YouTube in the middle of the night. So it's bad. Oof. Feels bad, Jello. Feels bad. Yeah, I guess. Maybe. Who knows? I mean, I'm not complaining. I kind of like albino lions. I think it sounds cooler than leucistic, but I get where you're coming from and I get what you're seeing. Do you usually stream on YouTube at this time so I can know to join streams more often? Uh, so actually today I am kind of on an off day for streaming. I usually stream every Wednesday at this time and either every Friday or Monday. But because I can't stream on Friday, uh, I decided to move it to today. 
and but usually yeah it's wednesday if you want to know more exactly make sure to join the discord because uh, i'll usually always announce when i stream on there a little bit more actively than i do over on youtube here youtube usually if you have the bell icon like turned on you'll get a notification when i live stream but it's usually around this time and i mean Sometimes it's going to be a bit earlier or a bit later, but generally 8.15, 8.20 uh, p.m. Central European time. Oof, Jello. Stay with it, stay with it. You'll get back to it. Don't you worry. Jana, welcome, welcome. Good to see you here. Uh, working today, so I might be in and out. No worries, no worries. Have fun at working. I understand. It's kind of hoping that was a lying call if I'm being honest, but uh, we gotta get to the other side to look um, behind us if there's anything there. Uh, they should make it so that there's a piebald in a herd. There should be two because it's a recessive trait like blue eyes. Ooh, interesting. Did not know that. I did not know that. That is that's a cool trait to know. I thought that it was just the genetic disorder, like um, melanistic or, I don't know, is it melanism? Is that what you call it? I think it's called melanism, right? When uh, it's too strong of a pigmentation. Pretty sure it's called melanism. But I, I thought it was just like melanism or um, albinism. Because I don't think those are recessive. I think they're like part recessive. Um but not guaranteed as that the child will have it as well, at, at least as far as uh, I know. Now we do have a lion there, level 5 lion. Not very big, but hey, it's a lion, so I'll take it. Oh, it's going to be a tough shot for sure. Um, I guess I'm going to try laying down for it. Uh, can I still see it from here? Yes, I can. Is that going to be a good hit? No, it's not. Figured as much. Is that a good hit? Yes, that's a good hit. Perfect. Gee, that is perfect. That is a good hit. Uh, let me look if there's anything else there, though. We might have stirred up in the area. But at a quick glance, I don't actually see anything, which is good. It is melanism. Okay, good to know that. Good to know. Um, white lands can be white if both parents are white. Uh, well, I guess that kind of makes the whole scheme work because then both of them have the genetic disorder, which then becomes recessive because both A, B are white and not just when A and A meet, it's also when A and B meet, both of them are going to be the white recessive trait, so um, that wouldn't make sense. What is the drink for today? Edge, welcome, welcome. I actually have to check because I just took the first two tea bags that I found, but we have um, sweet cherry mixed with orange. Oh, this could be interesting. This could be very interesting, and I think it's about time that I actually go ahead and try this, so you came at the right time. Oh wow, that actually tastes pretty good. Oh, you have that nice cherry flavor at the beginning, and then it kind of transitions over to the orange. I, I kind of like that. If anybody has cherry and orange tea at home, I would highly recommend that you guys try that out. This is... Oh, this actually might be one of my favorite teas. This might actually go over the um, pineapple tea. This might actually dethrone that. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Yeah, melanin is the or melanin is the actual name of the actual pigmentation that causes it, or that is an overload, or that also causes you to get a tan. But I didn't know what the actual, like, Overpigmentation disorder was called if it was melanism or something else. Thank you, Edge, for that. Thank you very much. Ooh, is this a blonde lion? Or is this just a really light main comment for variation? 
Ah, it's just a normal comment for Vision and Lighting playing a trick. Hey yo, hey yo, welcome, welcome. Good to see you here. How are you doing? Well, you're doing pretty good. I just read that, but good to hear that you're doing well. Um, because wondering if it's called melanistic, have to reach a certain amount of pigment. Um, I think it's only considered melanism if it's basically like 90, 95 plus percent of like, that you have like the melanistic, like the melon disorder or melanin disorder. Jeez, that's a hard word to pronounce. But I think that's how that is actually considered. Uh, as far as I know now, I haven't done a lot of research on it, uh, like um, albinism, but I'd imagine it'd be similar to how albinism is considered. And there's probably something like leucism for the um, melanin trait, if that makes sense. But that's kind of how I would imagine it to be. But I don't know if somebody knows a little bit more about it and can get like can actually tell me how what it's exactly. I would love, love, love to know. Oh, let's look. What do we have here? Anything good? No. I feel like later on in the stream after this, I think we could do a little bit of um, cape after hunting as well, if you guys want, because I feel like it could be very nice. Wait, conquer, conquer. I don't know. Like conquering through. <laughs> what are you talking about? Look what I killed. Yeah, I'll look at that later. I will look at that later. Imagine Pipe Lions. Oh, that could be pretty cool. That could be very nice, but at the same time, uh, I mean, yeah, it would be cool. Yeah, it'd be cool for sure. Um. Oh, you were talking to LC. Okay, I see it now. Greetings from the Czech Republics. Marek, greetings from Germany here. And thank you for making it into the stream. I wonder, yeah, I'd wonder how that looked too. Piebald lion. Would it be like a mixture of the common and al albino? Or would it be like, well, that's kind of how most piebalds are in this game. Or would it be the dark brown mixed with the albino? Because I think that could look pretty cool. Like the dark brown mixed with like white spots. Uh, I mean, I, I would definitely not complain about that. Uh, I'll tell you that much. Uh, I want to check one thing. Okay, I kind of figured that they would all flee out of there. But I wanted to see if there's anything worth shooting in here. So that next time we come here, we can have a rough estimate of what is around here. And of course this was gonna happen. Ay 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 ay, but um which one's bigger? I guess we're gonna shoot the three first. Uh let's do it like this. Um let me get my heart rate down. Unless I can't do that because I have Are you standing still? Oh, I wish I could actually shoot you. I can't though. So why don't we you know what we're just gonna Give him a, or her a shot in the butt and see if she's going to run forward again. And let's try and do it this way. How is that not a lung hit? Are you kidding me? And how is it standing still around me? Like usually it will rush into the stand. Let's look. Can that get a lever? No, of course it can't. Of course it can't. Are red brown wolves rare? Um, no, I would consider them an uncommon. Uh, but I don't know. You guys know that probably a little bit better than me. <sighs> Can I just please be still and shoot those lions? Um, talking about Cape Buffalo, I just saw a few days ago that a dude got a max weight, max gold. Ooh, that is crazy. But that sounds a little bit suspicious. But still, I mean, that is an insane, insane find. So I'm assuming that like a max word had to be big horns. That is crazy. That is crazy. But let's look. What do we hit on the first time? Okay, that was bad. And the second time we just didn't have. Okay, so it has terrible penetration on these guys. Good to know. Good to know on that. So I think we're going to switch to the 300 if we shoot those later on. Did we get a good hit on that one? Yes, we did. 
CG, welcome, welcome. Uh, what tea am I having today? Today we're having orange slash cherry tea, which is a surprising mix that I would have never expected to taste as good as it actually does. Giving half term week off school plus side five days. Oof. But look, you're almost there. You are almost there. And then you're going to be free for a little bit at least. Um, if I find a video, I would share the link here if I'm allowed. Um, I think you can share links. I'm not sure. I might have disabled it in Nightbot, but otherwise share it in the uh, Discord server because uh, you can send that kind of stuff there. Now let's pick these two up and then I want to see if I have some lines on the other side over there as well. Um, the guy who got that probably used, who knows, who knows. I mean, without a video or anything, it's going to be very hard to prove anything as most people by now have uh, learned the well hard way and bad way, I guess, if you want to put it like that. How's the hunt going? Uh, we're finding too many females, Haim, but we are making progress and we're at least finding some lions, so I mean, I guess that is good. We're also trying out the 338 for the first time on PC, and it's definitely not the same as it used to be in the back in the good old days. Uh, Mulder male, nice edge. Congratulations on that. Congratulations on that. Can you tell me your Discord? Uh, can somebody write underscore Discord in the chat so that uh, Zero with Gravity can join? Uh, but if you want to do it yourself, you can just write underscore Discord and a link will be sent in chat. Um, Michael, welcome, welcome. Hmm, I'm pretty surprised that people use cheats. Or I mean, it's not unsurprising. Let's let's really be honest. Especially when people do comps where you can win some of the comps you can win like like actual things so people will use it for uh, Those kinds of purposes Not underscore sorry exclamation mark. Yeah, sorry said that wrong <laughs> Not underscore I meant exclamation mark. That's my bad for the discord And there you go there is the link to the discord zero Happy you're going to be joining. Uh, but we're just talking about for stuff like that. People will use it, uh, I guess, to try and win that stuff or just to show off to people, I guess. Uh, I don't know. I don't really see a reason, but people use it apparently. So there's got to be some kind of a reason that people do and that people will. What's that? That was just a games book. And that people will see the need or desire to mod, cheat, glitch, whatever animals into the game. But essentially, you're basically playing against yourself in this game. And as of now, there are no leaderboards. But it obviously still breaks the game. Especially if people go on multiplayer and do it. And just break other people's maps. Or try to use other people's maps to their advantage. And make it so that it looks unhacked, I guess, in that sense. Uh, I get it for like GTA, but that defeats the whole purpose of this particular game. Yeah, yeah, yeah of course. Yeah, that makes sense. That that does make sense. I mean, I see it for certain games as well, like for the fun aspect of it. Like, I mean, let's take Among Us. I mean, you can play like modded lobbies where, like, um, for example, you have like the uh, what's it called, the mod where you kind of talk to people or you get to talk to people over the mic who are close to me to you like the proximity mod or something like that. I think is what it's called. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I understand why people would use stuff like a, like stuff like that in those games. Obviously not to try and get an advantage and disuse other people, but if everybody has the mob, mod in your lobby and you're having fun with your friends, then for stuff like that, I understand it fully. And I think then it's a, a good reason to use it because 
you're just really expanding on the game and making it better. Now, I also know that there's, um, because of Surly, and you guys probably all know Surly Jester, and for his series, um, people have always been wondering how he does it to get away like with the HUD completely and the not the E showing up for exam and stuff like that. Um, now, he hasn't actually not said officially how he's done it as far as I know, but I've heard people thinking about that he used a mod to try and hide like the HUD, and I think stuff like that could actually be really cool. And if I knew how that would work, I'd actually be interested in doing like a realistic hunt video or a realistic hunt series. But because I have absolutely no clue of how that works, uh, and I don't know how or if it breaks the game, I'm not willing to try it out for something that I'm not even sure is gonna work or fully function, so yeah. That's where I'm standing on that topic currently, but I know that stuff like that exists out there as well. So not every mod for this game seems to be bad in that sense, but I don't know. That's just kind of stuff that I heard. Um, any mod should know that one I'll see. Um, oh, you mean the discords? Discord one? Yeah. <laughs> That was kind of my mistake. I said underscore, I meant exclamation mark. Uh, I don't even know why I said underscore, but hey, I guess. Now, any lions back here? I know this leg is not popular for lions, but I do know that they do come here. So I'm just curious if maybe, just maybe there's going to be a lion here. Float coat. Yeah, it has been a while, but welcome and very nice and very good to see you here. Um, mods make any game fun, but mods in multi are not fun unless they are cosmetic only. Uh, with multi, I'm just going to assume you mean multiplayer. Uh, I mean, yeah, but there's also just mods that are game breaking. For example, like mods that just make every animal like spawn in as a diamond or spawn in whatever you want. And hello, did not know I had lions on this side, but since you are just so gratefully standing over there. Oh, we have a nine, we have a nine. Uh, yeah, we've got a nine over there and I need to take that with a bow. And he's going to be fleeing now completely. So I think what we're going to do is we're going to pick up the 8 mythical that we just shot. Um, and I just want to know if I have their actual zone. Yeah, I don't have their zone, but he's going to be somewhere around here. And I'm hoping I can maybe see it in here, but uh, let's look. I, I hope that we can get the zone and then I might want to try and set up some tree stands if that works. Um, so it's basically, those are called cheats. Mods are not cheats. Yeah, I know the word gets used a lot like intertwined, but in some take, some things that should be, well, that would be considered a, um, let's put it this way, a mod that allows you to cheat is still called a mod but it technically cheats for you if we want to call it like that and we have a drink zone here so where is this drink zone officially um oh there we go Twelve thirty to 1500 okay let's first of all set up some things here and then get ready um Oh yeah, that's a good way to say it, but why? I like how you mentioned that, that mods can make it fun for yourself, but it can, or it ruins the game for others. I like how you mentioned that and how you say that, because I 100% agree with you there. If you're just using it for yourself and using it for the fun of just you, then I'm, I'm going to agree with you 100%. Then I... I see the reason, but if it's to try and promote 
cheating and try and promote stuff to harm a specific community or a specific group of people, then I just think that mods could be used as or could be classified as cheats and game ruining in that sense. Is that the one? Who knows? Maybe that is the one. Maybe he's a troll, but maybe he is the lion that we need. Bowhunter 30, welcome, welcome. Oh, yeah, I'm hyped for that nine legendary. Yeah. Um, hola, amigos. What's up, gaming? What is up? How are you doing? Ethan plays. You should use the longbow. I'm going to be using the Alexander longbow if we can get close enough. If we can't, then I'm going to just use my usual hawk edge bow. But I guess we'll just have to go ahead and see in just a second how close we can get to that guy. And I'm not going to reset time just yet because I want to set up everything before I reset time. Um, and I should probably, while we go over here, actually we don't have the hawk edge, we have the bear claw bow. So while we're here, why don't we actually get this kind of stuff set up? Then I want the this one here. Okay, cool. Perfect. Um, so cool if add in mods and different weapons or vehicles. I guess you could see it that way, sure. Um, but what I would really like to see that would be added to the game, like officially at some point, um, is a mod that used to be in the community before I used before I was a YouTuber, where you could basically use a camera to basically fly around and take like cinematic shots. I think something like that would be so awesome and so fun because imagine the amount of cinematic shots I could make for like a specific video or just have something in here that could be like a new intro to streams or just stuff like that. I think that could be so much fun and just make things or make streams like a lot more fun and make videos a little bit more kind of cinematic-y, which is kind of the stuff that I like to do. And look at that. I can actually go from tree stand to tree stand. Can I get one over here? I got to try that. Let's exit this one. Oh, yeah. I've been off camera doing a little bit work of lions, but I'm going to be honest. I wasn't or I haven't been as active hunting lions as I used to do for the albino, like I've been going here maybe once a week or so shooting them, but I didn't know about this zone. So my grinding actually really didn't do anything. Uh, he must have been here probably almost the entire time. But with that being said, I think let's head somewhere else, reset time and hope for the best, I guess. Um, with that estimate, it's a chance, but to be a troll, but I don't, yeah, I don't want it to be a troll as well, because we are currently on a troll streak here with, I think, three trolls in the last three streams. So, yeah, uh, I'm really hoping that he is not going to be a troll for us, but I guess we'll have to wait and see what actually is going to be happening in the end. Also, if you haven't done so yet, please do consider liking the stream and subscribing if you're new, because I know we have a couple of new people in here today, so... If you enjoy what you're seeing, make sure to like and subscribe. And if you want to help the channel out a little bit more, go click that join button. And for $1.99 a month, you could become a channel member with the nice green name next to you, the channel badge next to your name, and you get access to some of the custom emotes that we have here on the channel. So you can just press join, have a look at it. It's not going to automatically make you a member. You can read through it first and see what you can get. I gotta say, this tea is really, really nice. I'm, I'm surprised that I got that lucky. I, I literally grabbed the first two tea bags that I saw today, and it apparently is Spanish orange tea with sweet cherry. So it tastes very good. And the estimate was 47 to 50, which I think is almost every single nine legendary estimate. So it, it could be a diamond, it could be a troll. It's kind of diamond is smack in the middle it has 1.5 points to be a troll and 1.5 points to be a diamond so i guess we'll just have to wait and see but we definitely got to give him a little bit of time to get into his zone 
and there's a lion here as well but it is just probably level six or small level seven yeah it's not guaranteed edge they need a, a 48.5 and 47 to 50 is definitely not a guarantee uh yeah it's 48.5 don't forget thank you very much for that ilc thank you thank you uh, i kind of just want to stand here and maybe try and get into one of the tree stands because it's definitely definitely gonna be helpful and since the wind is so nice as well i f have a feeling that we should be fine edge you say diamond i hope so i hope so i don't want to be hunting lions too much if i'm honest because i'm still a little bit sick of them from the albino grind but uh i wanted to get started on these guys because this either takes a long time or not so long so we might have gotten extremely luck here today with finding one kind of early on zero gravity you think it's a diamond too i appreciate that i do very much appreciate that now i am going to be very quiet though in case he is already strolling in here um uh, but i can't see him yet so that's good diamond vibes i hope so jana i hope so um saying good estimate lol i have been playing yeah i figured that as much uh i was just i figured that you meant to say that you hope it's a diamond i was just trying to make sure that you knew that the estimate was not going to be a guaranteed diamond <laughs> i don't really hunt lions they hunt me oof, oof, oof. i know that feeling i know that feeling Especially when you're walking through the thick, thick trees and then all of a sudden you hear a roar and two seconds later you hear the lion running over you. That's almost just as scary as hearing a wildebeest stampede coming for you. That is probably just as scary. Now, I'm really torn between if I want to go in there and wait for him or like chill here and wait for him to walk in before we get in on the action. I gotta, I'm, I'm gonna go somewhere else first uh, i feel like if i'm around here, i'm just gonna scare him because i also don't know from which direction he's gonna be coming let's let's give him some time let's let's not try and rush into it not go oh, hey oh come on now come on now come on now i don't think it's gonna be a troll <laughs> exactly no negative vibes <laughs> And look, we've already got a respawn from yesterday, or from last day, with a female coming in here, which for lions is common since there's not so many lions on the map. There's definitely more than most people expect, but uh, I feel like their respawns work a little bit quicker than other animals, just because of the limited number of lions there are physically on a map. So I guess while we're waiting, why don't we... Oh can't actually shoot them at a distance i don't have a gun um let's use the collar do i have the collar out yet no i don't um let's just look how good this thing actually works give it a quick test on oh, so i oh yeah for sure especially if you hunt at night oof. it just makes the whole just adds the whole like haunted slash scary vibe for sure I'm just curious, is she going to hear that and be interested in it? Uh, in a game is to get as close to a tree or bush as possible. <laughs> yeah, that is a good tip. The other good tip as well is either stand in a tent or get in a tree stand, tripod stand, or just get on an ATV and drive. Those are basically the best tips that you can do. The worst situation where you can have a stampede is like right over there in that area. Because, yeah, you do not want to be standing there. Now, I would actually like to shoot that springbuck, but I don't have anything to shoot it with. So we're going to have to come back here at a later point. I also just noticed I don't have my rangefinder sight with me. So, yeah, let's go back and make sure we take that with us. I um, don't think I'm going to need a first aid kit, because if he attacks, he is going to attack. Uh, and I definitely don't want that. Um, now, I need sights. 
bright side bow sight. Let's get that equipped. Uh, I think for the fun of it, we can try and just take a long shot here. And then afterwards, we're just going to start moving towards where we want to be. Um, or did we spook off the lion? I have a feeling we might have spooked her off. So not going to be doing that. Had half an hour to come in. Let's go looking. Let's see if we can see our lion. Now nah, let's look. You guys think he's going to be there? Or do you think he's going to be taking his sweet time of trying to walk into the zone? Now if he's not going to come now, then I will actually go in there and sit in a tree stand and just wait. But I, I'm hoping he's going to be around there somewhere because I don't like sitting in tree stands and waiting and just calling and calling because that usually never turns out to be the case. It's diamond for sure. Come on. I, 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 I'm hoping the same thing. I am really hoping the same thing, Edge. That is really what I'm hoping. It would spare me a lot of bad memories. He's going to take his time. Kind of have a feeling about that too, since lions, they either come in quick or they take their precious little time because they see some kind of delicious springbuck on the way and then they go on chasing that springbuck for like 20 minutes and then they only come into their zone now uh, i don't see him so let's start just speed crouching there just so we actually have the best chance possible at getting him now let's keep scouting the area though Because definitely, definitely don't want to rush this. Especially because predators calling them in is always very tedious no matter what. Now the only good thing is if we actually mess up the shot, we have... Usually I think we should have a pretty good time to try and get a follow-up in. At least that's what I think based off of how they run away if you take a bad shot or a good shot on them with a rifle. I don't think they're going to do the exact same thing with the bow, but I'm just hoping that they're not actually going to attack us. Um, do guided hunts on Call of the Wild for beginners and veterans alike? Say the map, I'll make it a multi mount and help you get some nice trophies. Or if you want cash, I'll stampede. <laughs> uh, How do you do that, Alice? I'm just curious, because you, you do on Xbox, right? So you just go and ask, or like, invite people to your map, and then, or you go on their map and help them out finding things on there. Is that what you're doing, Alice? Just curious. Yeah, I'm, I was surprised he was next to Nate Mythical, too. Which, in hindsight, usually if you see an 8 Mythical with a 9, in 90% of the cases, they're trolls. Which... Not a good sign. Definitely not a good sign. But who knows? Maybe this lion will break that that scheme and make a diamond so that we can finally break our troll streak and finally get a, a diamond again during a live stream. Because that would be fun for sure and definitely something good and something I would like to see happen today. But something else I knew was that I learned today is that you can actually go from tree stand to tree stand. I didn't know that you could do that. That is definitely a new fact that I learned today. Now, something else we're going to have to worry about is the fact that since we reset time so close, that he might not come into the zone, so we might have to actually reset time again and go away somewhere else. Yeah, it's not a good sign that he's not here yet or that we haven't heard anything of him yet. Um, especially since I'm not really hidden too, too well. But I guess we'll give it a minute or two up in the trees. And if he doesn't come in, then, well, he's not going to come in. But we can kind of hop around from here to here. And I think from here we're going to have a pretty nice view. So why don't we start calling? 
the watcher welcome well uh, welcome welcome good to see you here we are currently on the hunt for a level 9 diamond potential lion which we're going to try and take out with the recurve bow or with the normal bow depending on how far he is going to be away or how cooperative he is going to be but i guess we'll just see that once he's a little bit closer Anyone excited for Tevar? Oh, I am very excited for everybody on PS4 tomorrow to get the new map and get to hunt on it. I think it's going to be great fun that you guys are finally going to get the update, finally going to get the new map, and just get to see how fun and amazing that map is because you've been waiting for a very long time for sure. Uh... Let's look. Can I maybe see anything further afield back there? No. That's, no, that's just the tree stump. Okay. Hmm. Something that might have happened is that I came in here really too early and that he might be coming from this direction and that he noticed slash smelled us and that's why he ran. Not too sure if that can happen, but if it can happen, then that is probably what did happen. Because, well, it's almost an hour into his zone and he should be here. So... Yeah, not too sure what happened here. Really not too sure. Now let's go... Let's just go somewhere else. Let's go other side of the map, reset time, and just shoot some things up here in the meantime and then come back to that zone. I think that's going to be a good idea. Um, the people open ultimate and then kick people off. That's a good question. Um, probably because usually they don't know that you can make the map for just two people or three people, depending on how many friends they want to play with. And then they basically, all they want to do is play with their friends and then they just kick everybody who's not supposed to be on there. That is probably the main reason why people kick other people off of their maps, but uh, I definitely know what you mean, and it's, it is very annoying, especially if you want to go on a map and it's like the exact time that you currently want to hunt at. And sometimes people just open their map for multiplayer and just kick everybody because they I guess see the fun in kicking everybody and they feel like they're gonna be like above everybody else even though they're just kicking everybody and ruining the fun of the game <laughs> um they find something big and they don't want to make know how to make yeah I guess that could be as well but I think for most reasons it's that most people want to play on their map by themselves and just completely or not by themselves but with friends and they just don't know that they can actually um make it like for two or three people only get their friends to join in and then nobody else can actually join the lobby now you could be in a very unlucky state where you literally join right as they open the map and the other friend hasn't joined yet but usually it's just that people don't really know how to make maps just for friends only or stuff like that. Um, yeah, that could be as well, obviously. If people get host and then they just want the map for themselves, that could very well be another reason for it. But who knows? There's probably a lot of reasons why people do it. Um, and sometimes people just kick people because they're too close to you. Like, I'll do that sometimes as well. Like, if I'm in my own map trying to hunt this lake and I have another guy coming in and running right down there and shooting around me, then uh, I'll, I'll, I'll kick them because, well, they, they clearly know that I'm here. They clearly see that I'm there and that I'm at that spot on the map. So they were just trying to get here and steal whatever animals I was chasing. Now, while we wait, why don't we shoot that wildebeest over there? Wait, did I drop? No, I dropped that. Nice. 
Very nice. Drop that wildebeest. Perfect. Um, why they kicked me? Oh, okay. So you've I, I remember on console you can actually just text the people and like ask them why. On PC, that's a little bit harder. I tried multiplayer a couple of times that I've been kicked out every time. Yeah, getting kicked from a multiplayer map is you kind of get used to it. It's a habit. Now, I sometimes have the privilege that maybe one or two people actually, oh, there's an eight mythical back there. Can't shoot it though, because I don't have a gun to take it down with. And maybe one in a hundred games, somebody's going to recognize my name. And then they just don't kick me for, well, me being me. But I've also once been kicked just because, well, I was on a live stream and apparently they knew that I was trying to get diamonds. And they just kicked me because they didn't want to take the chance that I would steal their diamonds from them. I just thought that that was a rabbit, a level 3 rabbit. That made me pretty sad. <laughs> um, Can I maybe see that cape again? Because if I can see him again, then I'll definitely use the 303 to try and get a shot in there. Uh, even though I know it's not ethical, but it's an 8 mythical, so I'd rather try and take him down. I can see him from where I'm at right now. See, and he's still traveling. Uh, I don't want to test him, shot him, because I know how much these animals will run if you hit them in the intestines. But hey, screw it. Rely on some tea. I should, I should invite him for some tea and some, some biscuits. You know, <laughs> that'll, that'll definitely make him, make him raise his score and make him a guaranteed diamond, and he'll be in very nice bow range. For sure. Now I can't jump right now for some reason. Not too sure why that is, but I hope that I don't have to climb anywhere. Uh, is there one lion drink zone that you found three or four lions? It is fear forest T letter. If you Google it, you'll find it. I'm pretty sure I know which spot you mean. Do you mean um like kind of right over here somewhere. I know that there's some kind of a hidden zone there. Uh, I've just never gone there actually, to be honest. I was gonna check today, but since we just saw that nine legendary, we're gonna try and get him first. Yeah, he will smell the nice, the, the cherry and orange tea and he'll be like, ooh, I need to go there. Definitely not a bow hunter. And then bang, we're gonna get him with a bow. <laughs> At least that's um, the hope. Thought that was gonna be bigger than a three. Oh look, great mythical just standing right there. Hello. Oh come on. I literally just want you down. For a respawn. I don't even care about the metal. By the way, I got a really nice gold albino moose yesterday. Very nice. Congratulations on that, Mikhail. Congratulations on that. What do we have here? Um, what is this? Oh, it's another eight mythical. Hello. Don't like the fact that he's charging me, but they come in close. Rather have that happen. That's what three vital hits, two non-vital hits. Not too sure why he's getting aggressive back there, but sure, I'll take it. And down you go. That is what I like to see. Cool. Now let's move on. True. That is very true, Edge. I'm 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 using a oof. I'm using a a bow on a diamond lion, but we'll, we'll make a bang. We'll we'll just it'll be a a figurative bang rather than a quite literal bang of a gun. Yeah. You know. <laughs> <laughs> You're gonna. <laughs> oh, yes, we should do that. We should do that. I think you can fix the no jump glitch by walking into water until you respawn. Yeah, I think I can also do it by just going back to the. Um, uh, what's it called? By fast traveling. I think I can do it like that as well. I finally shot level 5 medium melanistic red tier. Congratulations on that. I'm still looking for my melanistic, but hopefully I can find mine soon. 
Dita the Drakba, a member. Welcome, welcome. By the way, for anybody who doesn't know how you get that green name, that is with the um, membership that you can get on YouTube now. So, props for being here, Dita the Drakba, and thank you for being a channel member as well. You are very right. We're going to bow that line, that nine legendary line in a second. But first, we got to pick this guy up. What do they need for diamond? They need 151, okay. I think it's time we go down here and pay our little lion a little visit. I think that's a good idea. Definitely you would find diamond. Uh, yeah, I should go to that spot at some point as well. Okay, I can't actually do that yet here. And I don't want to die right there, so let's go to another lake. Oh, there's lake right here. Let's try this and use the respawn theory for making me jump. I think that's going to be a good idea. Um, <laughs> it's a rule you came up with. Hey, yeah, 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 let's see. Really, does he not, Jana? That is odd. Because, uh, well, he is very green on my end. <laughs> Appreciate that edge. Um, uh, no, we did not yet. We were trying to fix my no jumping issue that I have right now. I talked to somebody about this this morning and was like, oh, with the Tevaro update, that's going to be fixed. And now suddenly uh, I'm here not knowing how to fix it. Uh, let's try this. Okay, still can't jump. Odd. That is very odd. Ah, oh, whatever. I don't think I'll need to jump anywhere. Uh, and then if I have to jump, I'm just gonna go out of the game once and get back in there. Ay ay ay, Jello. Ay 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 ay. Okay, let's start getting in here. Let's look. Is our lion anywhere to be found? Let's place our marker there. And let's start scouting the area. I wish I would have seen them before they fled so that I could kind of see where they first uh, were drinking at, but uh, it's a little bit too late for that now. So let's kind of run in this direction so I can look a little bit more clearly front on angle on where this lion could be. But I do not see a damn thing. Ugh. Please, Lion, just be somewhere. Please be somewhere. Alt, Cairo, welcome, welcome. Just finished getting every diamond in the game. And the same one. Congratulations on that. And congrats on getting every diamond in the game. That is very, very cool and a very nice achievement to get for sure. Hop on a tree stand, I'll leave. I mean, yeah. I mean, we're going to go on a tree stand anyway in just a second. Because I don't see the lion here, and I'm kind of going to just expect that he is going to be... Oh, wait, did I just have a... No, I didn't, okay. I thought I had a spot icon there, but apparently I did not. Um, You sound like a Spanish person when you say AAA. Maybe, maybe. <laughs> Uh, I just... <laughs> I, I, I... <laughs> no jello, no mercy. <laughs> um, I killed a 10... <laughs> what? A 10 albino dragon the other day? What do you mean? What are you talking about? What are you talking about with a 10 albino dragon? Mr. 2000, welcome, welcome. We are currently trying to find a level 9 lion that is being very, 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 very uncooperative. Exactly. Waka waka, eh, eh, nami nami na, eh, eh. Welcome. Oh, wait. I forgot how the song goes properly. Uh... Where is this lion? <laughs> why? 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 
is this guy not here? Now let's, oh wait, is that? Please tell me that it's from a lion. Uh, let's get down low, come on. Can I lay down, please? Is the game not gonna let me lie down either? Okay, this is gonna be bad. This is going to be very bad. If I can just crouch. Ah, uh, no, no, no. And oh, it's something like waka waka, eh, hey, hey, samina mina, eh, hey, hey. And then I think it's welcome to Africa or something like that, I think. Pretty sure, if I'm not mistaken. But, oh, there's a lion. He's alert, why can't I lay down? Oh, our lion is literally right over there. You know what, we're just gonna get in this bush. And we are just gonna call. We're just gonna sit in this bush here and call him in. It's not what I wanted to do, but I have no other choice. I can't lay down right now. Jeez. Oh, I literally have no other option other than just to hope that he didn't run off yet. And is going to be somewhat interested in my calling here. I actually have five. Uh, it's five. Because, well, uh, who knows? If I have a better position from one of them than the other, then I might as well take that. Holy spot, welcome, welcome. And yes, exactly. If you like the stream, please do remember to hit that like button. As it really does help it out a lot, and so that YouTube can promote it to more people. Now, let's go back to the two here and look. Eddie Lion emerging. Yes, he is. He's emerging. He's coming closer. Come on. Let's get the caller out here. Let's get the caller out. Let's get him to get closer. Wind is not going to be an issue for us, which I really personally like. Now, I just got to very quickly make sure that I have the right arrows equipped. Um, yes, I have those equipped. Uh, let's get keep this guy interesting. Let's keep him calling in. <laughs> We're gonna have to take his diamond and being horn hostage. <laughs> ay, ay, ay. I'm trying to shoot a melancholy female rabbit with a 7M. How long do... Uh, what do you mean? What's up, gaming? I'm a little bit confused with what you're asking. So if you could make that... A little bit more clear, that'd be helpful. Is he still calm? He looks attentive. Why is he attentive? Oh, no, 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 my guy. You are not going to be attentive or alert. You can't see me. You can't hear me. You can't smell me. There's no reason you should be alert unless I'm being a little bit too loud. Loud. Okay, if he's going to come right to 40, I'll smoke him with the recurve bow. But I need him to be right at 40. And at a decent angle like that. Oh, I've no idea if I hit him good or not. But that looks to be a long hit. That looks to be a long hit. Pretty sure that's a long hit. Not sure. I am semi sure. Not really sure. Uh, is he down? I think he's down. Hope he's down. Let's get over there. Let's look. <laughs> That's a scary moment. Stick attack. Exactly. Aerial pointy stick attack. Absa. That's, 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 that's a good one. It's an advanced method of killing an animal. <laughs> uh, yes. I think that's a long hit though. I think that's a long hit. Pretty sure that's a long hit. I hope it's a long hit. Let's look. I'm going to check first if we have vital blood or not. Oof. Oof, oof, oof. Nerve-wracking. I need some of my, my cherry orange tea. Still very good for sure. It's a good tea. 
single long. Yeah, I think it's a single long as well, but he was at 75 to 100 for a pretty long time and we took a risky shot. I usually never take a 40 meter shot with the recurve bow. Uh, I usually go 30 meters, 25 meters max, but uh, I was getting impatient. Let's look. That looks, oh, that almost looks too low, but decent blood here. Yes, 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 that's vital blood, right? That is vital blood. Come on. Yes, that is vital blood. That is vital blood. That is like I, what I got to see. Uh, that is what I like to see. Oh, wow. Wow, 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 wow. Perfect. Diamond potential, level 9 lion, right over here. Gotta take a picture of this. I can't lay down, so the pictures aren't going to be great, but let's get out of this. Ooh, let's look. Let's pick him up. He's a diamond at 49.6 at 265 kg with a apparently double lung hit at 42.8 meters at with the 700 grain broadhead traditional tracer arrow with the... I don't even know. Hui, recurve bow, hidden dragon. Ooh, wow. That is insane. If you haven't liked this stream already, I mean, I feel like this should be worth a like, shouldn't it? I think it should. But wow, we are taximizing this guy. This is insane. Wow, wow, wow. APSA for the win. Which, if you don't know what APSA stands for, it is a aerial pointy stick attack. And I'm going to give in Alaskan the props for that. He came up with that in live chat today. But wow, that is crazy. Wow, this was worth it for sure. But now I think it's time we end this little screen here and move on. Wow, that was crazy. That was crazy. Now let me quickly go to the... Zero Gravity, thank you. Ayo, thank you. And Jeep, thank you. Aiden, holy big meal. Yes, he was. Aiden, welcome to the stream as well for you. Edge Axis, um, I told you, Ayo. And he was by 8 Mythical. Yeah, so he broke the rule that if you are next to an 8 Mythical, uh, he actually made Diamond. That is crazy. That is unbelievable. That is crazy. Love it. I love it. Justus Fishing, welcome, welcome, good to see you here. Now, uh, first thing I'm going to do is, though, ask you guys, do you want me to stay on Verhunga for the rest of this? Or should we go um, on another map and hunt some other things? Because I'm pretty much open. Uh, I don't really care too much what we do now. Because we've got ourselves a diamond lion, which is ultimately what we came out here to do. And we basically did that within the first hour and 20 minutes. So we still have 40-ish minutes left. Uh, let's get this back out there. Let's get these tree stands. Oh, I forgot something. Do I still have tree stands in my inventory? That's another good question. No, I don't. Okay, so let's take all of this out of here again. And because we have to pick up those tree stands again. Uh, that should be enough. And let's go over there with an ATV, because I'm not walking all that distance again. All right, now I can go sleep pretty late in my country. Good luck if you keep on hunting. Thank you, Zero Gravity, and thank you for joining the stream. Appreciate it, and I'll see you next time, hopefully. Um... Oh, that should name his member group the Tea Party. Oh, you know what? You just gave me a great idea. Oh, you just gave me. I didn't wait. One second. Before we do this, I need to grab myself a paper and a pen. Give me one second. Um, there is paper. Where is paper?
Okay, I'm back. Give me one second. I quickly have to write down something. Okay, perfect. I just had to quickly write something down for an idea. Uh, let's go back now. Um, different map. Can you do multiplayer, please? We could try some multiplayer. We could try that. But let me first of all pick up these tree stands. Oh, yeah, tree stands. Uh, how do I take them down again? Is it H? Um, there we go. It's R. He's here. Oh, yeah, I'm back again. I just had to quickly grab a paper and a pen because I quickly wanted to write something down. Um, for certain reasons. Uh, no, I didn't want to press E. I wanted to press R. Okay, let's do this again. Let's pick those up and then let's redo our inventory very quickly up in here. Nina, what did you miss? We just shot a diamond lion with the bow, which was very crazy and very fun to do, if I may say so myself. Let's close all of this, get rid of that, go back in here, put back the 300, where is it? Oh, yeah, the 300, I need the M1, where's the M1? There we go. And the 243, where's the 243? Wait, what? What kind of am I missing then? Yeah, I'm missing the 243, but where is it? Oh, there it is. Perfect. Team 6 Gen, welcome, welcome. Nice to have you here. Um, What else did I miss in chat? Use weapons you never use. So we could go on multiplayer and try to use some different weapons that I never really use. Um, Ayo, if I give you $10, will you stream for another hour? Uh, I guess. I don't know. I mean, if we go for another hour, I feel like we should go on multiplayer and try something else. And also try different weapons. So let's get rid of all of these. And let's think of some things I never use uh, that could be useful. We could try using, oh yeah, we could use this. Uh, which one do I want to use of these? Let's use this one. Let's use, oh, you know what we haven't used in a while? We haven't used the Rhino in like forever. That could be fun. Doing some pistol. Oh, we should go, hmm. What else could be fun that we haven't used in like forever? Maybe something a little bit smaller range. Why don't we use a shotgun? Um, What's the 12 gauge? Why don't we use that? I think that sounds pretty good. Uh, I think we should have it. We need the scopes, never mind. Completely forgot about that. I think I should have everything else, though. We'll see that in just a second. Let's get rid of both of these. Let's get this in here. Let's get the handgun scope. And then let's get that up here. Actually, let's get the rhino there. Let's get this here. Let's get the shotgun there. Oh, I want the rhino up there. I want this over here. There we go. Uh, what goes in where? Which one is the smaller one? I think we're going to use these ones. Um, shotgun, 12 gauge. Do I have anything with me? Birdshot and buckshot. Let's put the buckshot in here. And then let's get the... Which one is the rhino ammo again? Four. Uh, that should be it. Perfect. Just killed a cape buffalo with the variant. It's been a long, very nice warrior angel. Warrior, blah, very nice. Uh, let's get this in here. Or should we do cape buffalo? Should we do some cape buffalo pistol hunting? I think that could be quite fun. That could be pretty fun. He took my 80 shot. Damn. Damn, damn, damn. But yeah, they, 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 they do tank quite a bit for sure. Uh, let's just get some more of the shotgun ammunition and I definitely put birdshot in there oops and then let's just get some more of this because buckshot doesn't go oh they actually go higher okay let's get this then why don't we get the slugs slug seems a little bit better um so let's redo this let's get back to the ammunition sorry that this is taking so long but since we're trying to use some new stuff, I thought might as well do it now. 
Now, I think we should have everything. We should maybe take a shotgun scope with us as well, because I think we have the space for it, and I think it could be quite fun. Um, do I have... Yeah, I do, right? Yeah, I have a shotgun scope, I was about to say. Um, which one is the shotgun scope? How good is it? Oh, actually, we can zoom in with this. Perfect. I like it. I like it. I think we're going to do a little bit of cape hunting, just a little bit. And then we might move on. I don't know yet. Depending on how good this goes is going to be depending on if we're going to stay on here or not. So yeah, let's make it 902. I think that should be fine. Moin, moin. Um... Moritz, ähm, es sollte morgen deutscher Zeit um 11 Uhr ungefähr rauskommen. Das haben sie heute im Stream gesagt. Uh, for anyway, I was wondering, I was just saying, PS4 Update tomorrow is going to be at, what, 5 a.m. Central European Time, which is um, 11 a.m., well, 11, 5 a.m. Central, um, Eastern Standard Time and 11 a.m. Central European Time. That's the rough estimate. It's not the exact time. But it is the rough estimate that we are going to be getting the Tevro update on PS4. Um, yeah, we could maybe do some Medved, uh, depending on how long we're going to stream today. But could definitely be an option. Oh, <laughs> I'm amazed. What do you mean? Ayo, why are you amazed or what are you amazed about? Uh, Alt, I just said what I said. I was just saying when the PS4 update was coming out uh, for, uh, well, yeah, for Call of the Wild, because somebody asked. So that's literally all I was really saying. But before we get those capes, I think we should run around here first and give those guys a little bit of time to actually come in and come to the zones. <laughs> Hashtag Edkins go face cam. I mean, I was thinking about getting one, but I'm, I don't know. I might get one in, in the future. I'm just not sure if I'll be able to stream too much anyway with life with like a face cam because well, I don't really have any backdrop behind me that I could put behind me. And there's not great lighting here anyway. Because uh, I see that whenever I use my laptop face cam for classes, it's ugh, it's weird lighting because I have my light is behind me. And... Uh, it basically makes me look like super, super bright because I just have the monitor light shining in my face, which makes it look a little bit odd, if I'm very honest. Uh, Ryder, welcome. Good to see you here. So mad. And the game just missed albino turkey. Oof. Reset time. Wait for it to come back and take another shot. That's... Usually a good method that proves to be working a lot of the time, I guess. What language was that? Uh, that was German. That was German. What's up, gaming? Uh, you got that phone location checker. What? I'm confused now what you guys are talking about. <laughs> How late is it anyway? I think we can start looking at some, some popular buffalo spots. And with that being said, why don't we start going up here? Because this is probably the best, or well, it used to be the best spot. It's not the best spot anymore, but it's still a good spot nonetheless. Z OMG, welcome to the stream. Nice to have you here. Nice to see some new people as well. And very welcome here. I hope you enjoy your stay at the stream. And if you do enjoy it, please do make sure and consider to liking the stream. Uh, what if Kinsko set up a dona donation about and use it to buy a face cam? <laughs> could do that. We could do that at some point. 
I could put that as like an overlay for streams. I'm pretty sure I can do that with, uh, what's it called? Stream elements. I think that works. Uh, I'm pretty sure. So we could try doing that. Why not? But then I'd have to figure out some sort of lighting as well, because with the current lighting, this would be a bit of a challenge. <laughs> That's right, you can't fight for lighting long. <laughs> oh, we could actually do that at some point. Why not? I'll do the research on what I can do in terms of like maybe changing the lighting here, and then I can get a face cam or the stand to hold like a bed sheet for a backdrop. Um. <laughs> oh, okay. That makes sense. I'll see. Um, so lucky last night was on Parque Fernando and got two level five albino buffalo, one albino level three buffalo, and three nine legendary cape. Uh, you mean water buffalo? Damn, that is a lot. Were you on your own map or on a multiplayer map? I just gotta ask because those numbers are pretty, pretty suspicious, if I may say so myself. Now let's look. Any capes around here? I know we saw that one, but I don't know where it disappeared off to. So let's go looking back there in the bushes because I know that they hide in that area but we also deleted the zone last time we did this because well um we got charged and then we got charged again and then there was a level five warthog here so that's another thing <laughs> in the sad voice uh 25 cents though we'd be doing that for a very long time because youtube takes i don't know like almost half of that so 12 cents then make it 10 days for one euro and like what 40 cents something like that you know what? we're gonna take a long shot with this now i haven't used this thing in forever but i think that should be enough Oh, that was way too high. Okay, never mind. That's why we tried this. Can we get a... We just spooked everything, didn't we? You know what? We're going to try and use the muzzle loader on the rabbit. Oh, we took the one with the bad, aim, like, zeroing distance. Can I shoot that rabbit? Pretty sure we just smoked that rabbit. I am pretty sure we can smoke that. Um... But, but that they were in different spots. Yeah, but still, that's a lot. That is crazy that you had that kind of luck. Usually, you'll have like, I don't know, one or two rares, two, three diamonds, and that's about it. Uh, well, you actually have more rares than that, but they're like usually very far spread apart, and you usually only have about like one rare per species. I think that's a little bit better way of explaining it or saying that. But still, if if that's legit, that's very, very crazy and pretty cool that you got that. Yeah, Parquet, for some reason, usually always has good times for multiplayer sessions. I've noticed that as well. It's It's one of the few maps that it's like... It's, it's consistent that people usually like hunting it in the morning and that they don't go BSing around in the afternoon or evening, which is very nice for sure, because that way you can actually hunt the proper animals. Um, imagine getting more than the random diamond. <laughs> I mean... Sure, there's like a lot of random, what do you call it, diamonds, because like sometimes that you just go on a map or you're on your map and you're like hunting something else and you suddenly find it. But if you're grinding, you kind of know that you're going to have one 
on your map somewhere at some point. So they're not quite as random anymore. Um, I wouldn't, well, see, it's, it's just, I wouldn't say necessarily that there's something wrong. I just say that there's something a little bit weird about it, I guess. Uh, let's try and go for an extremely long shot. But I accidentally pressed reload. I just want to see how good this thing does on range. If I can spot it. Now let's go like right around there. Did we hit it? I am not sure. Did we get a hit? Oh, snap. I think we might have actually hit that. I think we might have actually hit that. Ah, oh, what? But I'm all away. Ay, ay, ay. You too. This is going to be funny at some point. I'm thinking back at that. Did we kill that guy? I don't think we did, but I want to know if we hit him. There's something else here, though. What do we have coming up here? Um, if he's going to go broadside, I'll take another long shot. If you know what, we're going to try sneaking in just a little bit more. Because I actually want to get something. <laughs> oh, you too. <laughs> ay, ay, ay. I know I'm saying a lot of ay, ay, ay today, but there's been a lot of ay, ay, ay moments for sure. Okay, I don't think we hit that guy quite as good as we thought we did. Uh, let's get this back out. I know this is an insanely long shot, but... Oh wow, that was actually pretty close. There's not that much bullet drop with this, is there? I don't think we hit it. I sadly don't think that we actually hit this guy. Sadly, sadly, sadly. Um... Don't think that no, we had that hunting pressure before. Okay, let's just move on. This is not looking too great, is it? The, uh, my favorite lake uh, or uh, my favorite spot for water buffalo on Parquet is for sure the mushroom lake on there. It's just an amazing lake for them and definitely one of my favorites for sure. Like, hands down. Can I run? There we go. Can I jump again, by the way? Yes, I can jump again. Hey, That's what I like to see. Oh, why is there a water on Cape Buffalo over here? That's what I would like to know. Why are you still over here? He's still calmly traveling, so it's probably going to be one of our best... best chances of trying to get ourselves a good shot on him. Now what we know with bullet drop, uh, I'm pretty sure that should have been a good hit on either one of those. Maybe not. Come on, reload. Let me get... Uh, no. Okay, he's going down though. He is going down. So one of those was a good shot at least. At least one of those was a good shot as it seems, which is very nice to see for sure. Ay, ay, ay. You guys. And I didn't even really get what you guys are play fighting about. <laughs> uh. It's too streamy, actually. I haven't seen him, like, I get a notification in the morning that he's been live overnight. I haven't seen him stream in a while. I don't know if that's just YouTube being weird now and me not getting any notifications or if two has just been off a little bit and streaming less uh, the last week or two. Now let's look. 
130. Ooh, we actually, this, oh wow. At 140, we still got that much penetration in. That's pretty, pretty impressive. And apparently there's a female lion back there that I hope will not actually jump in at us. Uh, yeah, we came from up here. We did come from up here. Uh, I think that though we're just going to check this lake and probably move on to another map. Um, actually, we only have 15 minutes left. Let's let's stay on here. And then tomorrow we're actually going to go on another map. You guys can... I'll put a vote on the community tab later. So you guys can vote uh, what map you would want to see for tomorrow's stream. Oh, geez. Uh, what you want to see for tomorrow's stream. Guys, calm it down now with your roasting and chat, please just keep it to a minimum and keep it chilled here, please. Uh, I don't want to have a roasting chat. But I'm thinking I'm not going to put Verhunga in for tomorrow just because we did Verhunga today. So we're going to do every single map except for Verhunga for tomorrow, but... I'd be open for it, and then you guys can comment below that as well. What animal or what specific animal you might want to see? Because I'm pretty much open to most things. I would like to do red deer hunting, but I'm not sure you guys want to see too much red deer hunting, considering we've done so much of that this year. I mean, we haven't done Silver Ridge in a while, I'm going to be honest. How are they no... Am I at this at the completely wrong time? Because that's what I'm starting to get the impression of here. Can I just get a Water Buffalo Triumph? Uh, not Water Buffalo, Cape Buffalo. Please tell me I have a Cape Buffalo zone here somewhere. Yeah, there we go. 8.30 to 12.30, so they should be out drinking. Why are they no cape? Oh, they're, they're, they just haven't come in yet, apparently. Why? 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 I'm just going to hunt something else. These guys are being too stubborn today. This is not very, very fun to do. So let's get back out of here. And let's... You know what? We're just going to go for some... Gemsbuck slash um, Warthog and see what we can find for these guys. Because, yeah, these capes are not really being cooperative in terms of coming to their zone, which means I can't really use the appropriate rifles that we haven't used in, like, forever. Because I want to use the muzzleload a little bit more, and I actually want to try out the shotgun just a bit more to see how good that thing is going to work. And since we're up here, I actually want to see quickly how this thing reloads. Oh, so it's it's like rank and shotgun. Okay, since we've used rank and shotgun recently, why don't we switch that out for something else? Because we literally shot the albino diamond with that for the missions. Um, hmm. Did I have the... Which one do I have in here right now? Let's get the other 12 gauge. I think this one is the one with 6 as well. I haven't used it in forever, but... I'm pretty sure this is the right one, if I'm not mistaken. 12 gauge slugs, yeah. That is going to be the right one. And then let's get the shotgun ammo on there. And let's look at this the right one. Yes, it is perfect. This is the shotgun that is perfect for geese hunting, but I haven't used it in forever since we haven't gone geese hunting in a while as well. Um, what did you miss, Travis? Um, you missed a diamond lion that I shot with the recurve bow a little while ago, and now you're going to be watching me shoot a couple of 
animal like well, using some like weapons that we haven't used in a very long time on the channel or haven't used at all. But well, good to see that you're here. We're not going to be going for too much longer, but if you want to see that lion, he will be in, I'm thinking probably either tomorrow's video or the video on Thursday. I'm not too sure yet, but I want to try and get that cameras back there. I'm pretty sure I can actually, I, know, I probably couldn't, didn't take an ethical shot with this, I think. Don't think so. Lady Legend, welcome to the stream. How are you doing? Um, is black and white feral goat rare? Um, black and white uncommon. I would consider that uncommon. The only one that I personally would actually consider a oh, rare is probably oh, mixed. And then there's like a black fur variation, I think it's called, or inked, something like that. I think it's called black, though. Uh, and that is the only actually proper rare one. I know that mixed is considered a uncommon by most people, but I haven't seen too many of them to be honest. I've really only seen maybe like five or six. So it's it's gotta be between ugh it's 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 kind of like how do I put this best? It's not quite an uncommon but it's not quite a rare either. Um, good thanks, how are you? I'm doing quite okay. We got an amazing kill just like half an hour ago. We shot a level 9 legendary lion with the recurve bow and that was just absolutely fun. And it was it was crazy, but loved shooting him and it was just a, a blast to get him. And now we're just trying to use some, some weapons that we haven't used in like forever. But we actually wanted to try and do this with capes, but capes were not being cooperative whatsoever. And so they got rejected and we just moved on to some other animals that I knew would hopefully come into their zones. And it appears to be happening. They're coming in. Ooh, that guy actually looks pretty nice. Gotta say, in Gemsbuck, well, the males, I really like how the males always look with them like being not as tall but going really wide and they have a little bit um thicker horns but then again the females uh, where do i have a female here somewhere it's got to be one it's another four male come on it's got to be a female here somewhere for them this is usually full of them but they're kind of oh there we go no that's another what okay usually these guys well there's a lot of females usually but apparently not today and what they usually have is they have like they're a lot thinner um and a little bit skinnier but their horns go really long and really far back which is nice as well if they're diamond especially since they can make diamond at level four whereas the males basically only make diamond at level five but i don't know there's something about the males that just it doesn't look more impressive they just look a little bit more more angry, I guess. And I think those diamonds look really cool, for sure. Um, heads up, coming with... Oh, wow. Uh, don't use the word ban in chat. Yeah, exactly. We had that whole situation like a couple months ago where people were just using ban the entire time, and I kind of want to keep that out of chat unless somebody is really misbehaving, which currently is not the situation at all like everybody's behaving we didn't have any any issues today is that a female no that's another male of course i'm surprised that we only have male games back here the last time i saw this is like i don't even know when thank you for that lady thank you by the way how is the great one grind going i the last time i checked in you were at like 2060 kills something like that uh, any progress, any diamonds, any rares recently? Just, just curious. Because if you're at 2,000, I'm sure you're gonna, you've got to be pretty close to actually getting him. It, it can't be much longer. How far can I actually aim with a shotgun? 
because if I can aim at like 150 meters, oh wow, okay, never mind, we're not going to get much closer. I don't know how effective this is going to be. Was that a female? That's another male, of course. Um, let's actually get towards 100 meters and then try and get the shot in. I think that's going to be just a bit more accurate and then I can maybe move over a little bit to the side. 2,200. Oh, wow. Wow, that is a lot. And that is a lot. 18 diamonds, 6 rares. Ooh, that's That's a good amount of rares, though, for sure. For like 2,000 kills, the 18 diamonds, 6 rares, that's... I, I know it's not maybe what you're going to be looking at, since you're probably frustrated about not getting the great one, but that's still really good numbers. And considering that that's almost one rare or one diamond for every 100 kills, that is... Oh no. Uh, let's pre-fire that a lot. And I'm out of bullets. Let's hope I hit something good at this. Um, we're going to if he's even going to spawn. Don't don't put your head down. Keep your head up. Keep the motivation coming. Uh, chat's going to be with you. Chat's going to make you feel more elevated. Make you feel happier. And he is going to spawn at some point. Don't drop your head and be... Uh, I don't know what's the right word to use in English. Devastated, I guess, would be the right word. But don't be down. Keep the motivation coming. And hopefully you'll get it soon. Got a small level 2 melanistic. Ooh, the melanistic are the hard ones to get. The melanistics are for sure the hard ones to get. But they are definitely the best looking ones. Like, those are... I, I personally love the melanistic whitetail. The albino are okay, but I think they just have a little bit too much of this, like, pinkish or, like, grayish pinkish tint in them. And then the piebald, I mean, they're cool, but I'm, I am I like the melanistics a lot. I'm frustrated. <laughs> I bet you are. Yeah, exactly, Jana. It's, it's 2,220 is, is definitely insane and a huge, huge number, to say the least. I don't know if I, well, I, I kind of did, but if I was at two, 2,000 now after doing that almost every day, oof, that's, that's tough. I remember how it was on PS4. I had the biggest hopes. I killed like a, a max weight level 3 white tail deer at um, one of my favorite lakes, and I was like, oh, this has got to be him. This is going to be the respawn. He's a max weight. He's a diamond. He's... He's huge and never got anything. And then at like around 2,500-ish is, is just when I stopped in PS4 and then I heavily got into playing on PC. Yeah, I've heard about people saying that it's that they're not respawning properly. Uh, I've started looking into it a little bit and started asking some people around if they actually knew anything about it or if they had any kind of solution. I know you said it as well, and Beard was talking about it in one of his streams where I just, like, quickly heard it while I was, like, saying hello in there. But uh, he was saying that females might help with respawns now. And some people seem to be having um, good luck with that. I don't know if it actually is going to help with respawns for the males, but I think it might help killing the females just to get more numbers in terms of kills so that you actually end up just getting more more respawns in general. Now, it is going to mean that you're going to kill like females and it's not 100% going to count into probably what the males are going to be. But what I think it does is the way that, well, this is kind of my respawn theory, is that whenever you restart the game or reset the time, based on how many kills you got last time, you're going to get a certain amount or certain number of kills from that accounted towards respawning. So let's say you kill 20 white tail deer. Uh, let's say you kill 15 males and 5 females. Now, what I think is that you're going to probably get around 10 to 12 respawns for the first time that you reset time. And let's say 10 of those are going to be males and 2 of those are going to be females. But in the end, you're always going to stay at that 15 to 5 ratio in terms of what you killed and 
and in males and females. And I don't think that genders actually end up switching. Now, again, that is my theory. And that might very well be very far off of the truth. But that's what I've been living with. And for me, that theory sounds correct and seems to be working. But the whitetail is sometimes a little bit the only exception to that. And obviously also animals that can make both diamond um, as males and females, such as foxes. I feel like foxes can respawn as both, which is one of the only exclusions. And I guess you could count rabbits, ducks, wolves, and that kind of stuff into that as well. If you really want to go deep into it. Um, makes you wonder. Yeah, I know I've had a lot of people thinking about that. And it doesn't make it better that people are posting hacked great ones and making it seem like they work because that just kind of creates false hope. Now, I can't say, I can't tell you, I wish I could tell you that I know that they're working, but since I got mine before the Teavaroa update, uh, I can't guarantee that they're working or not, which is sad, but I, 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 I gotta say it, I, I think they're working. Especially since they're saying that it's an official issue that they're spawning at too low weight. Now, with them saying that is giving me a little bit of hope that for the people who are really actively grinding them at the moment, that this issue is an official issue and it's not just hacked ones coming up everybody everywhere. But I don't know. I feel for everybody who's grinding them right now. And... I kind of feel sad, or not sad, but bad that I'm actually getting into it again as well, because I really don't want to be with the same issues like you are. Um, I've had three max waiters. Last time was maxed. Ooh. Yeah, I, I feel your pain. I feel your pain. Mules seem to be glitched. I shoot and then heard the stand here. Yeah, I've had animals now weirdly not running away, like... You guys saw it last time on the Teavaroa stream where I shot like 20 or was it almost almost 30 um, like pigs because they just didn't run away. Now, obviously, part of that was because they were actually standing in a in the water and they just couldn't move anymore. But still, it makes me wonder if some of the animals just are glitched kind of like pumas where they can't run away anymore. And I've tried recreating the scenario and I couldn't fully recreate it last time but uh, I'm still thinking about it and seeing if it is that thing now we saw it again as well today with the capa flow who was being a little bit weird and just running into us uh, but just standing there and not moving after we shot him so there is something there it's just I can't find a common denominator that actually wraps it all together that makes the animal not run away majestic bunny senpai welcome welcome Shadow Cystic Cape Buffalo, congratulations on that. That is definitely a very cool rare to have, and I hope he gets a very nice spot in your trophy lodge, maybe even in the Breadwinner multi-mount, because that is a great multi-mount to get, and having a rare in there is definitely nice. Here's our first 448.8. He is still far, far away from being able to score diamond. And we got a non-vital organ on this guy. Uh, respawns into different zones oh yeah but that's always been the case um, animals always they're not zone bound um, so I'll, let me quickly explain well, again this is my theory of it but let's take a lion let's say I shoot a lion in this zone over here that respawn is to 90% not going to come back to that zone it is probably going to either end up in a zone here in a zone here there 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 there, 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 down here, or wherever. So I wouldn't really too much think about animals being zone bound and looking at that small detail as something that's a little bit more, I guess you could say open or loose ended um, in that sense. This is it. No one's got one that I know of since the update, so there's no proof but I've spawned 18 diamonds, so it's got to be possible at least. That's what I tell myself. Yeah, I, I see this is one of the motivations that is what you got to stick with. Uh, just hope for the best and I guess prepare for the worst.
I don't hope or wish for anybody that they're spending so much time grinding it right now, especially since I'm currently one of the people who said that they're going to start passively doing it again. Uh, and I just missed that shot terribly. Um, so I just really hope the best for you, Phil Clinton, Scarecrow, and everybody else who's been trying to get them recently, that it is possible and that it's not just uh, a broken game that's hindering you guys from getting it. Because, well, you're almost streaming it every day and trying your best to get them to respawn and it's it's tough. But I I wish you all the best and hope that you can get it. And I've been trying to tell that to everybody as well who's been trying their best at grinding for one. <laughs> yeah, you could almost fill a diamond lodge, a uh, diamond whitetail and diamond and rare uh, whitetail lodge at some point. <laughs> that is very true, Alt Cairo. Very true. Um, weird. Uh, oh, that's dark to the jello. Never mind. Rodentine, vision of farmer. Referring to my comment about killing a doe with level ones. And getting level twos back. Um, what do you mean about killing a doe with level ones and getting a twos back? Uh, if you mean that you killed does and you got yourself a level two male to respawn back, um, what I say to that is that, well, again, my theory of that animals are not zone bound, um, which is why I'll check female only zones sometimes or just delete them once completely because um, I kind of see it as if I delete everything out of that one zone once uh, I can just kind of hope that everything like that an animal is going to be attracted to that zone again once it moves I don't know if I delete this zone over there they're probably going to come over here and drink there and then that hopes that I get some of the respawns that I shot during that run are going to hopefully try and join that group and come there and just hopefully join in there and make a difference at some point in time. Now, I'm not sure. I don't think that's a gold for a variation, but I, th uh, I don't know. Honestly, wait, is that a gold down there? Is that a gold for a variation next to it? No, that's just a gray that's standing awkwardly. But I think that might just be beige, but... Why not take it out with the muzzle loader and try and not miss this time? Is that going to be a good hit? Yes, it is. Okay, perfect. Um, diamond female white tail. I'd be I'd be curious how that would look. That'd be like a, a very beefy white tail deer, and be based on the weight. Be like a big overweight white tail. That you can almost roll. Antonio, welcome, welcome. Uh, needs to stream. Uh, EW did stream today, Altcayo. They had a stream today at... Oh, 1600 to 1700 uh, Central European time. Because they respawn all over, but killing does does help. Yeah, see, that's what I think about it. Like, with the does, killing the does, what I think it does, it's not necessarily working towards male respawns, but what it does is I think it just increases the number that you kill. So whenever you reset time or reset uh, the game, it just causes more animals to spawn back in, in that sense. And you're welcome. Uh, no, have, tell me nothing they can't. I think you're talking to Jello there. I think that was a comment directed at you. Oh, hello. Let's take this thing for a little spin. Oh, no. Oh, no. Um. Come on. Please tell me they're going to be out here in the open again. I'd like to try and get another shot at them. Oh, hello. Oh, wow. Of course, you're going to stop right at that moment, right? Little piggy wiggies, always doing that. Oh, and I shot the other one. Hello. Hello. Oh, is this literally just a common? Was that four literally just a common? And the lighting just tricked me again. 
feel like we have this almost every single stream. Oh, we got a lower neck hit. Hello. That's what I like to see. It's just a female, but I like that we actually hit something. I thought I completely missed or got a flesh hit on one of them. Um, definitely take the ethical th ah, def Jeez, I can't speak. Definitely will take the ethical kill, though. Not going to complain about that. There's another one coming back over there. I think we should try it. I think we just go for it. Ooh, okay. That was terrible aiming for sure. Definitely. I think we're going to check one more zone. And that's going to be this one. Because this zone is absolutely insane for... Gems Buck. As you will see here in just a second. There is like 10,000 Gems Buck here. And we're going to try and find ourselves one of them. That we're going to try and take down... With the muzzle loader, I think. Yeah, I think we're gonna use the muzzle loader. So let's try and find one that looks pretty good and then try and take that out with the muzzle loader just to finish it off because we've streamed a little over two hours now and we've definitely found some good things. We finally broke our troll streak for the last three or four streams. So that is definitely good and we managed something incredible. What's my favorite song? Oof. That's a that's a tough question. Uh if I currently it's it's a German song probably. Maybe so uh, if I have to go with like an American song. Actually, you know what? I uh, I'm going to I'm going I'm, I'm just going to name a classic song cuz I've for some reason uh, I've enjoyed listening to like old banger songs that like I used to listen when I was younger. And just, they played in the radio. Oof, that's a tough question though. Still, I gotta pick one now. Um, hmm, what would I pick? You know what, I'm gonna, I'm gonna say one of the, the TikTok songs for, well, I, I think some of them are, were quite funny and it's a song from Bonnie M. So, pretty old song, to say the least, but. It, it is still a very good, it's it's a good hype song, it's a good chill song, it's a, it's, 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 it's a classic, let's put it that way. So I'll, I'll just say that um, Rasputin from Bonnie M, uh, it's also a little bit biased because Bonnie M is actually German. Well, the group is German, the actual people singing the song are from kind of all over. And fun fact, actually the people dancing in their videos are on stage are actually not the people who sing. The people who sing actually pre-recorded and then they just kind of word the songs or they worded the songs on stage uh, because they couldn't dance at all. So they performed dancers to be in their videos and stuff. And the people who dance can't sing. So they're just dancing on there. Um, I had a full song on my phone to listen to. Uh, the felt going for the day. I'm a little confused what you said there, ILC, but good. Jared, welcome, welcome. Um, you stole that from the Peterson Bros. What do you mean? What did I steal from the Peterson Bros? I'd like to know because I don't think I stole anything from anywhere. It's a good song. It is. It really is. Uh, for sure. I don't think we actually hit this guy good because he's still alive. But we'll have a quick look up here and see if we can see anything. If not, then... Uh, it's not blood. Did we... I saw the hit box, though. I, I definitely saw it getting hit, for sure. Uh, but then again, there's so many tracks here as well. Trying to find one track is gonna be a pain, to say the least. Um, oh, that's just not it again. Oh, here we go. Here's blood. There are some down there. Let's just shoot that female. Oh, no. No, 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 no. Come on. One of you's got to stand still on broadside. Oh, no. Oh, no. Come on. 
you're gonna be it, right? Come on. Yes, we hit one. Yes, 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 yes. We hit it. Perfect, perfect. Have an awesome stream. Bye, everybody. Thank you, lady, for stopping by. Thank you, thank you. And I'm assuming you're gonna stream again later, so good luck with the white tail deer. I'm probably gonna be there. Uh, unless I'm gonna go to bed early. I'm not sure yet, but thank you for being here and good luck with a great one. Um, you spotted a five games back, but it was extremely likely to estimate. Did you spot one? But if it's a male and it's a five, uh, it's pr it has a decent chance of being a troll. If it's a female, that's almost a guarantee for being a diamond since they're pretty much yeah, they're pretty much almost guaranteed to make diamond at five since the fours are they're uncommon diamonds, but they can make diamond a good amount of the time, to say the least. Seven Eastern Standard Time, that's like nineteen hundred yeah. I'll probably be there for the beginning of it, but it's it's gonna be only the beginning because it's like I don't know 12 p.m. here I think something like that well no, 12 a.m. in that case then so it's quite late but I'll I'll see what I can do and how did we get a single lung huh how did that okay we we just grazed it we literally just grazed the left lung there wow how okay that's that's crazy but Wow, that's, that's, that's a good shot, I'll take that. But with that being said, this is going to be the ending of... Can I sing your song? No, I cannot sing your song. Maybe next time, maybe next time, we'll see. We'll see in what kind of mood I'm going to be tomorrow. But that's going to be it for today. I hope you guys enjoyed the stream. I had an absolute blast getting that lion back there. It was a rush for sure, and I was scared for a good bit of time that we actually didn't end up getting a vital organ hit on him. Still a very cool kill and a very cool hunt, to say the least. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Bye-bye and peace.